In this session, we're going to talk about one of the most useful free patent databases, Espasnet, spelt E space net. And if we click on the Espasnet EPO results, we get this screen where we have two options to open Espasnet at the European Commission or the European Patent Office. When we land on the front page, we have a nice uh, introductory video uh, for Espasnet and we can just enter some simple searches into the database. So I'm just going to use pizza as my theme for the purpose of illustration. So here we have pizza topping or pizza toppings. Uh, we have pizza stones or we could have a pizza box. So we'll just enter that search term and take a quick look at the results. What we're doing here is searching the titles and the abstracts. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have pizza box ovens, pizza packing boxes, and we have a very interesting musical pizza box. Now, one of the really great features of uh, Espasnet uh, is the patent translate feature, which will translate uh, the text into a very wide range of languages. So we'll just simply translate that into uh, Spanish, un caja de pizza musical, uh, and so forth. And if we just hover over it, we can see the original text. So if your first language isn't uh, English, then this can be uh, extremely uh, useful. Uh, you can also uh, download or print out uh, the translation. And of course we can change it to a wide range of other languages such as Icelandic, for example, which is very helpful. Uh, now, what we see here is the basic front page bibliographic information. We can now look at the different sections of the patent document, the description, the claims, drawings, and the original document. I'll just bring up the original document. It's 14 pages long and we can uh, download it uh, as required for further study. A second important feature of Espasnet is my, oops, my patent list, uh, which allows us when we review a list of documents to add, I believe, up to 100 documents into the list. So if we just go to my patents list, we now have two documents have been selected so that we they will be stored for up to a year and we can export them or download them as needed. So if we go back to our list, we could check pizza box, check duplex pizza, and if we clicked in to them, we could then add that to my patent list. We could also uh, select, we've got 315 results. We can see we can only display 25 here. So we need to click no, load more results for export. So I'm going to do that a few times. And we have to scroll, scroll down each time. It seems to be adding about 25 at a time. Until eventually we arrive at the full result set. Okay, so we've now got 240 results. And note that up here it was slightly higher originally, I think around 315, but it will progressively take out um, extra documents and become more accurate as we do that. So we ended up with 240 results. We can now 
make a choice about downloading, exporting these for further analysis, either as CSV or in Excel format. Now I'm going to choose CSV format as uh, sometimes Excel introduces uh, extra characters. It's a matter for you. So let's export the CSV file, having selected all of them. And we can now open up this file either in uh, open office or excel my system tends to auto open in excel and we can now see the basic results that will form the basis for further analysis i'll just bring those up so we can see we have the title publication number publication dates we have inventors information and so this work can form the basis for uh, further analysis as we will discuss uh, in future sessions.